Okay, hello everybody. This is Mike here again. So, <clears throat> I, I'm i kind of curious to see if these two 3D printed objects or containers can hold water or waterproof. Maybe not waterproof, but can hold water without leaking. Um, this is a little cup made on a Creality 3D printer. This is made with PLA. Now you can't use this as a drinking cup because it's PLA. Or at least it's not recommended that you use it as a drinking cup. This is a PETG. PETG part. Now, PETG is plastic is used uh, in many drinking uh, thermoses, uh, drinking bottles, and so on. So I'm just curious to see how well they hold water. This is just uh, room temperature water out of a faucet. And I'm going to put it in the PEG part. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, PLA part. Whoop. Overrun it. A little bit, just kind of let the water sit in there for a little for a little bit. See what happens. Give you a paper towel. Now this is from my uh, over over spill. So far, both parts are holding water, it looks like. Put too much in here. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so far so good. I think I was only using 20% infill <clears throat> on both parts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was using only 20% infill on both parts. Let's put in a more complex object that is both inside and outside walls. This is also a PETG part. So I, I wasn't for sure whether these parts could hold water. I was just kind of curious. I don't know if there was a difference between PLA and PETG. This is like I said, a Creality printer printed these parts out. 20% infill. Looks like, to the, my, my surprise, it looks like they can hold water. Now with, I've heard different things about PLA, but I've told, you know, don't make drinking glasses out of PLA and so on. But you possibly could make drinking glasses or drinking cups or bowls and stuff. Drinking water containers out of P, uh, PETG or PETG. So even with a little more complex object that had outside walls and this inside wall, I'm not seeing any leakage.
Very interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back. Let's say I'll come back in an hour and see if it's still holding water. Very cool. Let's pause it. Okay, hello everybody. So I'm doing my uh, test to see if my 3D printed parts can hold in uh, hold water or waterproof, hold water in the inside the container without leaking. And <clears throat> so this is part two of the video. Probably edit them all together. So I let them soak for over an hour to see if it would start leaking. And as far as I can tell, I have lost zero amount of water. Now, if it uh, was holding water for days, it might make a difference. I don't think it's gonna make a lot of difference, but so my pet G, P-E-T-G, bowl, looks fine. There's no water on the outside. It's slowly coming through. We can debate whether I can drink that water or not from the Pet G. The PLA cup. Same thing. No water on the outside. Nope. I'm not. Nope. Double checking the bottom there. Nope. I might like put keep water in this for a while just to see on PLA. But I don't see. Pretty much all the water's there. Or didn't drain out so this this more complicated piece same thing that's interesting uh, both the the pet G and the PLA can hold hold water so I think that was a good test interesting test I thought they would leak, but they didn't. So, very cool. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.